Hello everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another Bleach Immortal Souls video. Today we're going to be talking about the Defend the Katakura Town event where you get to fight Big Bad Boy Aizen himself. So we get to do that and take that on. The key with this event is he has a Danku shield that he puts up which prevents and nullifies any of the effects or control effects that your rages do and stuff like that. So. You want to save your rages mainly for when that shield is down. Plus, when the Danku shield goes down, he recovers all his rage and he's exhausted. And when Aizen becomes exhausted, he takes 100% more damage. So that's your time to end up getting in there and launching your, your rages and everything. So you kind of want a good control and attack team because you could land stuff on him different from the squad boss. You could actually land like Disorients and freezes and stuff like that on him so you want to try to work in the team that has that kind of stuff going on so today i'm going to go over my team that i used for this run and all that stuff and show you how they work and everything and hopefully we can get some good coinage and tokens for that exchange event let's get to that game footage roll it What is up fellow soul reapers it is nornrad89 here your boy bringing you another bleach immortal souls video today we're going to be talking about the defend the Carter quarter town event i'm going to be running through the characters that i'm going to be using for the event as well right now showing you what i'm doing i'm going to be running ichigo jashiru mariu rangiku toshiru and i'm actually going to throw momo in there for attack as my sixth instead of orihime who's a healer, I'm gonna throw a Momo in instead because I just got my Rangiku to four stars and I activated her passive recently with that enhancement. So let's go to her skills. So I have the decreases the attack of male enemies and when an allied female Soul Reaper uses a rage attack, it has an 8% chance of disorienting. So that's why we're running her on that team as well to try to get that disorient on that Karakota Town event. So let's jump in there and see what we can do. We're gonna change this lineup right here. We're gonna, oh wait, no. We wanna pull out Orihime. It's always so hard to grab the character sometimes I find. <laughs> down, down. No, we want Orihime down. There we go. And we're gonna bring up Toshiru. Sweet, so we are ready for battle. We're gonna go in there and see what we can do. Now for this event, there's this different kind of methods, like right now he has the Danku thing going on, and when he has his Danku shield going on, for it lasts for two rounds, and every three turns all rage is like just lessened, and he recovers his rage and exhausted, so it's just, you don't want to use your rage during the Danku. Alright, let's see what we can do, got some perfects, get those perfects going. And you don't have to collect the coins like right after. I usually do just cause, but you don't have to collect those coins. You could wait till the end of the match before you collect all your coins and everything. But I'm running this team mainly instead of Otohime because I don't really need a healer healer for this event. And it's best just to, it's just better just to get that more damage in with the more attackers. Plus I have that passive, like I said, activated for Rangiku, so. It really helps out having Momo on there. It'd probably be best with even a complete female Soul Reaper team, but... Oh no! Look, see, we got those disorients on those characters right there. Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oof, oi, oi. Yeah, Momo's gonna be gone. Let's see. I kind of want to get those rages off, but like still, he has that Danku going up, so it's kind of pointless right now. Oh, Toshiru's gone too. No! And we got the Disorient, of course, on Marty. Boom. That wasn't a good little RNG run right there. That kind of sucked. We got that bleed damage going at least right now. All right, here comes his rage. Boom, he's gonna slaughter right now. Oh, 
and we're down. Well, there you go. Ten coins we collected, and you can use these coins and token or these tokens to exchange them for character shards for rare characters usually and you could also re-challenge so you don't have to keep that but you could claim your rewards take them gold tokens or you could re-challenge it to try to get better rng and everything and then like i said you use those gold tokens to exchange for character shards rare ones so hope you guys enjoyed that like i said in the video and everything it was fun showing you guys what they what to do during that event like i said when that danku shield is up you want to try not to use your rages and everything like that. It kind of just it just lessens them and makes them kind of pointless. So you want to have definitely save them for when the shield goes down and he's exhausted. And the goal is hopefully you would be able to get probably a disorient, a silence, or like a freeze on him kind of thing, just to slow him down or prevent him from actually doing his rages because his rages can be pretty brutal and everything. So hope you guys enjoyed that and everything. And let's see if we can go in here. And see if they have the exchange event where it is. Oh, wait, hold on. I think it's right here. There it is. The limited time exchange. So you can do R Rukia, Lisa. There's a bunch of different characters in here you can do. You could even do for the items like this and stuff. So, you know, hopefully we'll save up those gold tokens and eventually get that going. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Keep that content rolling and coming and everything. And... Enjoy. Peace out, guys.